Hi, this is a quick video to talk about performance in Microsplat. So, uh, I spend a lot of time optimizing things for GPUs, uh, specifically on low-end hardware. Um, and the thing about any optimization uh, to a shader is that it tends to be very, um, very uh, variable, depending on what type of hardware you're running on um, and sort of the level of that hardware. Uh, specifically, in this case, we're running on a MacBook Pro. And we're running the CTS landscape scene from uh, the CTS shader. Uh, and right now we're looking at it in the Unity shader mode of their profile. Uh, the version of CTS I'm comparing against is version 1.1. 1 .1. Uh, the version of, of Microsplat is a beta version. I still actually have some optimizations I want to do. Um, so it should hopefully be faster. And I know the CTS guys are busy optimizing their shader as well. Uh, so I su suspect that in future versions it will be faster as well. Uh, this terrain has seven textures on it, um, which means that, uh, if you're familiar with how Unity draws terrains, that in the Unity mode it is actually drawing the terrain more than once. And uh, in the CTS and Mega Splat mode, or Micro Splat modes, uh, right now, I believe they're both drawing the terrain more than once when they don't need to. Uh, I will optimize that out soon, and I think the CTS guys are working on that as well, so that should make both of those shaders uh, even faster. Now, when talking about performance, uh, you kind of have to take everything with a grain of salt because uh, it's going to depend on what machines you're running at, on, what your view is, all kinds of things. So what I've chosen here is I've chosen this CTS landscape scene because I think this is a great stress test. Uh, it's made out uh, of about 25 Unity terrains. Uh, it's a big area. It doesn't, in my opinion, it doesn't really show off what these shaders are capable of in terms of quality. Um, but it does stress the system because it's drawing a lot of landscape and uh, it's got a long view distance. Uh, and there's lots of optimizations that shader writers do to sort of make things uh, simpler in the background, things like that. So uh, with the video capture, uh, the performance is quite a bit lower. Um, normally I get about 60 on the UV scene here, uh, but with the video capture going, it seems to be uh, around, well, it was around 30, now it's around. Uh, 26, and this is one of the things you'll notice about uh, laptop and mobile GPUs is they tend to uh, vary a lot. Uh, they do some, some of them do power management stuff, and so the frame rates can be more variable. Uh, so I encourage anyone who's interested in this uh, to download uh, Microsplat and compare it against your uh, particular shader setup. Please uh, feel free to post these uh, results in the forum and talk about them. Uh, I'm deeply interested in optimizations. Um, you will find that, that whether these optimizations matter or whether they, uh, to your game, uh, may vary on what type of hardware you're running on. If you're running on, you know, 1080s and uh, you're running at 900 frames a second, then hey, it doesn't really matter how optimized the shader is because you're running way faster than your monitor will display anything. Uh, and you may find that, um, you know, different shaders are going to have different looks and there's things you prefer. There's a lot of reasons why you might treat performance uh, for other features. And really, performance is a, is a feature that every feature of a shader is trading off against, right? You turn on more features, you turn on more stuff, it's going to degrade your performance. Uh, so it's one of those things that it's highly dependent on your settings. But anyway, uh, now that's behind us, let's start to compare these frame rates. So we can see that the Unity one is about 30 here. I'm going to switch over to the basic uh, CTS profile. Uh, I'm not super familiar with the difference between all of these things, but my understanding of this is that this is something more close, uh, closely, you know, it doesn't do height-based blending, it's a little bit closer to the Unity terrain shader, uh, but it does do things like geotexture and snow, and you can see the snow off in the distance here. And you can see our frame rate is, it's hovering between 12 and 18, uh, I'm going to say it's 16, because that seems to be the number it lands on the most. Um, and if we go to the advanced uh, shader, which I believe adds a bunch more uh, sort of features to make the train look a lot nicer in terms of blending and texturing and uses height based blending and stuff. We can see we drop down to what looks about oh, 12, it dropped to 8, goes to 14. Okay, so we'll say it's 12. Uh, seems about right. So now I'm going to switch over to, um, oh, let's go ahead and do the tessellated. So CTS tessellated um, peaked up at about 12. It seems to be hovering between 6 and 12. We'll call that 10, uh, even though the 6 is worrying. Uh, but anyway, so let's go over to Microsplat. Now, I don't really have like a basic advanced sort of switch like that. 
so I'm going to go to what I'm calling the Microsplat Advanced Mode, which is uh, currently using uh, the height-based blending, full PBR uh, textures for everything. It's using a uh, noise normal, snow, geo texturing. Um, I have all of those features on. If you turn these features off, the shader is going to get faster because it's going to have less work to do. Uh, but we can see that we're at 30 frames a second uh, with the video capture going. It's dropping down to 28 occasionally, uh, but roughly between 28 and 30. Um, so we'll just call that 28. And then if I actually go to the tessellated mode of this, we see that that drops us down a little bit to about somewhere between 24 and 26 frames a second. So the tessellated mode uh, compared to the basic mode of uh, CTS is actually not quite twice as fast, but um, if we see this is running around 16, it's, it's almost twice as fast and with tessellation on. And compared to the tessellated mode of CTS, which seems to be getting around, uh, we'll call it 10, it's dropping below, but we'll give it 10, um, versus the tessellated mega splat, we can see we're almost three times as fast. Uh, in terms of raw frame rate. Um, so if you're trying to hit low-end uh, devices or uh, you know you just need the speed for other things in your scene, there's nothing else in the scene other than the landscape, so it's not trees and things like that taking up our time, um, then that difference may be a real, uh, a real important thing for you. Um, and uh, I do have one other mode in here that I stuck in, which is basically just turning off all the fancy features um, you know, getting rid of geo texture and snow and stuff, uh, and I called that Microsplat Basic. You can see that's uh, it's around 2830 uh, versus the advanced, which seems to be about the same. So it turns out that um, in this case, our shader is not particularly bound um, by uh, we're not particularly bound by the shader in this case by its texture samples and things. Most likely, what is happening in this case is that we are bound by Unity's terrain system which likes to break up these scenes into lots and lots of tiny little uh, geometries and draw calls. Um, which is another reason why the uh, uh, optimization that I eventually want to make to uh, shut off the multiple pass drawing that Unity uh, has hard-coded um, uh, will probably yield a little bit of a performance increase here. Um, so anyway, uh, I suggest you don't take any of these results as uh, gospel and try these on your hardware, on the devices you're going to be running on. And uh, again, uh, feel free to post your results and uh, stuff in the forums. And we'll talk more about performance because it's a topic that I uh, love talking about and love working on. And uh, that's it for today. Thanks.